Hola, hola, and welcome back. So, welcome to this next video, which we're going to be looking at more phrases and words from Narcos. So, please have a pen and paper ready and make notes. And when you do watch the show again, you'll be able to understand certain words and look at the subtitles to see if you have got them right. So, let's begin. So the first word I thought I would have is gringo or gringos. So gringo is singular and gringos is plural. So as you know in the show, they are dealing with, Pablo Escobar is dealing with the Colombian police and also with the DEA from the United States. So when someone calls someone a gringo or gringos, gringos is his plural, it is a derogatory term referring to a white person or a foreigner, but more likely than not, it's down to white foreigners, particularly from the United States. So it's how Colombians and how Latino people and Spanish people actually refer to uh, foreigners, especially white foreigners. So gringo is singular and then gringos is plural, so it's a group of people. El patron, el patron is the boss. So when people call Pablo Escobar el patron, it means he's the boss, you know, he's the head. It's a position in a way. So el patron. El jefe is the same. El jefe is just another word and it means the same. It means boss or kind of like the leader. Pendejo. Pendejo. So pendejo. As you can see, the J is not pronounced as J, like pendejo, it's pendejo. So it's like a sound from the bottom of your throat. And it's got many meanings, all derogatory, meaning idiot, coward, dumbass, pendejo. So when you hear Pablo or one of his people calling someone pendejo, you know what that means. Listo. So listo means yes, okay, good or right. So for example, it's an affirmative response to something to indicate that you've understood. So if I say, for example, are you ready? You could say, listo. Did you understand that? You could say, listo. So that means yes. So it basically means that you've understood something. It can mean yes, it can mean okay, and it can mean good. And in Colombia, they tend to use listo a lot. But in Spain, they use vale. So it's different in Spain. But in Colombia, listo is used all the time. And it's very, very popular in Colombia. And that's why you've seen it in Narcos. Because obviously, it's based in Colombia using Colombian lingo. Agale. So agale is another very common slang phrase. Especially in Medellin, in Colombia, where Pablo is from. And this expression doesn't have an exact translation, but it means something like sure, okay, or go ahead. So if you're with your friends and you ask if you want to go for a drink or a few beers, for instance, you can respond by saying agale. And this would mean more likely, yeah, let's do it, as opposed to all right or okay, which you would then use listo. So agale is more enthusiastic and it's more of a strong way of saying yes, okay, sure, let's do this. Whereas the previous slide, listo is more sort of, it's more kind of a toned down version, if you will. So we have agale and we also have from the previous slide, listo, meaning the same things. Fresco. So fresco is used to describe someone who's chilled or relaxed. So it's to describe chilled or relaxed people, but it can also be used as an alternative word for tranquilo to tell someone to be calm. So if someone says to you fresco, that means relax, calm down, chill out. So you will hear this a lot in Narcos because of the situation and the tension and everything. So if someone says fresco, a Pablo says fresco to someone like his wife, he's telling her to calm down. Or if he say, says it to someone else or someone says it to him, it's to relax, calm down, chill out. So that is fresco. This is another common word which is sapo, very easy to say, sapo. It literally means a toad but in Narcos it refers to informers and snitches or rats. So basically someone who is a rat like you know snitches and talks to the DEA as an insider or an informer so that's a sapo so everyone no, no one wants to be called a sapo because obviously it's an insulting term and it means someone is a snitch and it actually comes from the verb sapiar which means to rat someone out so literally it's a toad but in narcos and obviously we're looking at the words and phrases in narcos it means a rat 
Me importa un culo. This means I couldn't give a rat's ass, meaning I couldn't give, I couldn't care less or I couldn't give a shit. So this is a very common set expression, and it's used in narcos, and you probably have heard of it. So it means I couldn't give a rat's ass. Me importa un culo. Un billete or un billetico. Un billete is a large amount of money, and un billetico is a very large amount of money. So it's very clear what we're talking about. So, un billete, un billetico. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If there's any words in Narcos that you want me to translate, just leave it in the comments in any of my videos and I will come back to you and I might even make more videos on this if there is a demand. So until next time, hasta luego.